The Department of Agriculture in Siaya County has engaged in continuous efforts to realize and enhance opportunities along the agricultural value chains. The Youth Agribusiness Strategy is a multi-stakeholder approach developed to address the challenge of youth unemployment and income generation by offering opportunities for youth in a vibrant, commercial-oriented agri-food sector in Siaya County. We have come up with what we call the CIA County Youth Agribusiness Strategy because uh, looking at our, our other policies, the department for instance has an agriculture sector policy, we have a soil, an agricultural soil management policy, we have a dairy development policy and strategy, we even have a roots and tuber strategy. But you find that these policies did not really mainstream youth affairs and so the youth was sort of left behind. We have youth uh, that are not employed but they are also not uh, exploiting the opportunities in agriculture and the reason perhaps being that they do not have the adequate skill or the aptitude is just not right or they don't have the knowledge, um, they do not have the entrepreneurial ability to delve into this sector and derive any good that can come from it. So um, the strategy that we have come up with envisions the spending of about 4.2 billion in the implementation. That for instance is an amount that the government cannot raise on its own. So uh, we have partners already operating within CIA uh, that have a focus towards youth, uh, youth activities. Uh, GIZ for instance is one such partner Food and Agricultural Organization is also within the county. We have World Vision and several others that are already operating within the county. The vulnerable in the society have not been left behind in this strategy as FAO has provided implementation of capacity building for these special groups. For instance, Stephen Othiambo living with a hearing impairment is a poultry farmer from Ulafu in Siaya County. He says farming has given him a source of livelihood after failing to secure a white collar job preceding his college graduation. My name is Stephen Omondi. His home area is Ulafu. Mm -hmm. After finishing the course of electrical appliances, he applied for different jobs, but he did not get any opportunity. So he decided to come back home and concentrate more on farming. Also, he was trained with the farm how to do farming activity. Through the seminar that he has underwent, he got some knowledge. He started with just one poultry, later he added more. Yeah, it has helped him a lot. He sells poultry and he get benefit. But the challenge that he gets is the machines, the equipment that he is being used for keeping poultry, but hope soon God willing, he will get. George Cheng is a teacher by profession. In many occasions, he acts as an interpreter for Stephen. Me personally, I'm partially deaf. The problem that I have is this ear. His hearing is small, but this one does not hear anything. Mm. Many times I just come and help them interpreting. Yeah. Dora Brenda is Steven's wife. She happily narrates to us on how she met her husband. I'm a college graduate. I did secretarial studies. So besides that, I'm a business lady. We stay comfortably. I know sign language. Not that I, not that I went to school to learn, but from my family, one of our siblings is deaf. So as we used to, as we grew up together and she will communicate sign language with our family, it's just we, you learn. We learn just on how what she does. She assists with what to learn to Kiana. 
same to my parents and other siblings and same to him so that is how i came to know about sign language and when we met that was love at first sight being that i'm hearing and i know sign language at the same time there was uh, saw it like no looking back remembering how they met ignite a smile on her face given an opportunity you will bring up an idea of uh, looking for the deaths that are kept at home doing nothing bring them up create a whatsapp group and train them about farming too apart from white collar jobs there are things they can do at home to maintain their life the vulnerable uh, in the community uh, this is a very special group uh, of young people uh, young women young men uh, that as an institution as FAO we, 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 we take a lot of um, focus and pride in associating ourselves with uh, in the projects that we implement uh, we also we always always uh, give them uh, the opportunity to be part of the process uh, but you realize in, in agribusiness it's, there's a lot of physical activity that goes in into agribusiness. That said and done, there are a lot of disabled people across the country who are capable uh, of doing agribusiness. It doesn't have to be physical. It depends with the level of disability. But the success rate is amazing. Uh, we appreciate what the disabled community uh, is doing uh, through agribusiness. And we believe there's a lot of opportunity to work with the disabled uh, across the country uh, to give them that platform that they require uh, to showcase that they are just built differently but it doesn't mean that they are not able the disabled are able they are able differently and if you give them that platform and that opportunity to do agribusiness uh, they're doing a fantastic job Youth unemployment continue to be a challenge in this generation, but with continuous efforts and centralized resources to fill the knowledge gap among the youth, the sector has potential to create more decent rural employment for youth. Susan Mwangi for KTN News.